What exactly is a cadence? We've all heard the term used before, and we've even used it ourselves, but it's not necessarily easy to define. For many of us, we just know a cadence when we hear one. In classical music, however, cadence has a very specific meaning, one that's different from the broader concept of musical closure. Consider this theme by Beethoven. The harmonic progression that underlies the first four measures is 1, 5, 5, 7, 1, and many of us would call the downbeat of measure 4 a cadence. But if cadences are supposed to serve as endings, there's a problem with this analysis. When a composer states an idea and then repeats that idea immediately, they're signaling to us that a theme is just beginning. Can you imagine Beethoven ending the theme in measure 4 and going on to something completely new? It would sound incomplete, as though he'd stopped speaking mid-sentence. How then do we account for the feeling that something is being articulated without ending? To this end, it's useful to distinguish between punctuation and cadence. Music includes a vast spectrum of different punctuations that allow us to group music as we listen so that we can make sense of it. Cadence is just one extreme type of punctuation that serves to end a larger thematic unit. In our Beethoven example, for instance, we can speak of punctuation in measures 2 and 4, but not cadence. The cadence of this theme occurs in measure 8. We can distill cadence to two main criteria. One, that five be in root position so as to provide a strong root motion worthy of a cadence, and two, that the progression serve to end a thematic unit. There are two principal cadence types, half and authentic. A half cadence, HC, ends on five in root position, and an authentic cadence, AC, ends on one in root position. Authentic cadences can be broken down into two subtypes, perfect and imperfect. These modifiers depend on which scale degrees in the upper voice. A perfect authentic cadence, PAC, has scale degree 1 in the upper voice, and an imperfect authentic cadence, IAC, has either scale degree 3 or 5 in the upper voice. Another common cadential technique is to set the listener up to expect an authentic cadence, but to deliver a chord other than 1, like 6. This is referred to as a deceptive cadence because the music deceives our expectation of a one chord. In summary, remember that any musical feature can contribute to a sense of closure, but cadence, which is a special category of closure, serves to end a thematic unit and must contain five in root position.